Well, here we are, the season finale of the NFL for the 2021 season. I don't know why they're calling it the season finale. We still got a long way to go. It's not the season finale. Uh, the season finale is Super Bowl 56, as you all know. <laughs> but let's talk about Week 18. You know, again, the 17th game was a compromise. It really wasn't the end goal of the NFL at all. Uh, the NFL's goal was 18 games, but, you know, we are stuck with 17. But week 18, you know, it's not, it's not just about, you know, playoff spots. It's not just about, you know, wild cards and stuff like that. It's about seeding. It's about, you know, who's getting the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. You know, all these storylines have culminated into the final week of the season, as usual, you know. Um, so we're going to talk about these two Saturday games first. They're really, they're important but they're not as important as some of the other games. They're, 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 these are really just placeholder games. You know, again, ABC and ESPN, you know, Mouse has the rights to these Saturday games now. So, you know, and people are talking like this is a new thing. This is not a new thing. There there have been Saturday games on the last week of the season before, like back in the 80s and stuff like that. So this is not a new thing. Um, it's a new thing for this generation. But it wasn't a new thing back in the day, because I know, I know I look back way back when, you know, that back in the day, these schedules that were back in like the 80s and stuff like that for the NFL, like there were games on Saturday on the final week of the regular season. It is what it is, man. So Chiefs and Broncos, um, I'm not sure if Mahomes and company are even playing in this game, you know. Again, I, I, a lot of these games I'm not sure, you know, who's playing and who's not playing, because, I mean, again, you know, week 18, you know, there's going to be some teams that are going to be like, oh, well, we're going to sit on out. You know, there's others that are like, oh, well, you know, yeah, we're going to play this game. We, we need this game, so we're going to play it. Uh, but Chiefs, they've locked up the AFC West. They're trying to get the number one seed, but they need the Titans to lose, and they need to beat the Broncos. And they've already beat the Broncos badly this year in prime time, and they're going to do it again probably, you know, because, I mean, it's the Broncos. I mean, if you're stuck between Drew Block and – Teddy Bridgewater, you know, I'm not sure if Teddy Bridgewater has even come back this year. You know, I don't think he has, but I mean, come on. The Broncos? Come on. Stop it. Eagles-Cowboys, on the other hand, it's a little bit more complicated. You know, the Cowboys are fighting. You know, they're still one of the teams fighting for at least the number two seed. They can't get the number one. The Packers have already clinched the number one seed. Uh, Eagles really can't improve their position. They can either be the sixth seed or they can be the seventh seed. Um, so uh, potentially the Cowboys and Eagles could face off in the super wild card round, you know, the week after this one. So they, they could face off two weeks in a row. It, it, it just depends, man. It just depends. Um, I do know the Cowboys need to play well. You know, Jalen Hurts and the company are not going to make it easy. You know, they're not going to make it easy at all on the Cowboys. They're not going to make it easy. You know, um, you know, Micah Parsons, I believe he got COVID. So, I mean, you know, again, the COVID pro protocols and stuff have changed over the past few days. Like, things have been fluctuating and stuff like that with COVID. So, I believe it's like a five-day period now. So, to which you have to isolate. So, there's that. Um, so, the boys need this victory. The Eagles need this victory. Somebody's going to come out with, you know, a win. And... It's not a win and you're in scenario, so there's nothing, you know, really to be like, yeah, this is this is gonna be bad or anything like that. Washington football team and Giants as we kick off the Sunday that you know the road up to game two seventy two, and the football team they're eliminated. The Giants are eliminated. Um, the Giants are going to you know they're. they're that they're they're trying, you know. It, it's it's a game. It's a game that exists. I forgot. Um, I forgot something could happen. Something could happen today for the Giants. I forgot. What was it? Somebody stepped down. I believe it was either Gettleman or somebody stepped down today. But I'm not sure who. I don't really care because it's the Giants and they're just a farce of an organization. The football team is going to be announcing their new name. In February, that is that is something that's big though. They're gonna be 
announcing their name. Uh, I, I hope it's not the Admirals. Um, what has been rumored, it's been like the Admirals, the Red Tails, or something like that. You know, I'd rather be like Red Wolves or something like that, or Red Tails. You know, something that I can make fun of. I mean, you can't really make fun of Admirals, you know. That, that's not really a name to make fun of. Come on now. Um, the Bengals and the Browns, I do know that Baker Mayfield and Joe Burrow, I don't think either of those guys are playing in this game. The Bengals have locked up the AFC North. There's, they could they could get a number one seed as well, but again, they need a lot of things to go their way to get to that number one seed, and I just don't know if they're going to get it. You know, so... Uh, this one's this one had more intrigue at the maybe at like the middle portion of the season, but now no intrigue at all because Browns are eliminated. Bengals have already locked up a spot. Um, Steelers Ravens now both these teams need a lot of things to happen. You know this could be this could be it for Big Ben. This could be it. The Ravens have lost five straight. You know, I mean I don't know if Lamar is going to be playing at all. I mean. Vance has been injured the last three weeks, you know, so this one's this one is definitely one that you, you know, might have to keep your eyes on, but again, don't count on it, because, I mean, again, the Steelers and the Ravens need a lot of help to make the playoffs. The Packers and the Lions, now, this one's interesting, the Lions can get the number one pick in the NFL draft, but it's highly unlikely they need the Jags to win, again, you know, another team hinging on the Jags, like the Steelers, the Ravens. But I just don't think it's going to happen again. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think Aaron Rodgers and the company are going to be playing in this game very long, you know. Um, so we'll see, you know, how that goes there. Colts, Jags, again, you know, this is this is the game that, you know, has a lot riding for it. Um, the Colts, all they need to do is just beat the Jags. All they need to do is beat them, and they can lock up a playoff spot, you know. I'm assuming Jonathan Taylor will run all over this team. You know, Trevor Lawrence and company are just not – they're just not a good team. I mean, the Jags are just a dumpster fire of an organization that, you know, and I, I, I was surprised, too, you know, that the Jags were, you know, almost in the AFC Championship or rather the Super Bowl like five years ago. Like, remember that? Remember that Jags team? Yeah. It's been such a long time. Like, it, um, so the Colts need to win, you know, that, that, that's all they need to do is win, lock up a playoff spot. Like, there's really no reason for... You know, this game to be the way it is. And, I mean, the Steelers and the Ravens, I mean, they, they just need the Colts to lose. And so do the Lions, you know. Because the Lions, will, maybe they want that number one pick. You know, maybe Aiden Hutchinson will be, you know, that number one pick in the NFL draft, in my opinion. That's just me. I don't know. I mean, we got a weak quarterback class for 2022. So, you know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just stating facts. Um, and the Steelers and the Ravens, like, I don't, I don't know how they're going to have to have the Colts lose. Because, I mean... There is a scenario in, in you know, which the Colts could still miss the playoffs, but it do, it doesn't involve the Steelers and the Ravens at all. So I mean, it, it, like, there's still a scenario in which you know the Colts could lose, but the Steelers and Ravens could still miss the playoffs. So I mean, there's just no point. The Bears and Vikings has no significance. There's nothing to talk about there. Titans, Texans. Now the Titans, all they need to do is just win, and you are the number one seed in the AFC. Texans are going to make it tricky, though. They're going to make it tricky. Davis Mills and company have been playing, you know, pretty. They've been playing pretty good. I mean, you know, lately, I mean, I don't, I don't know where this Texans team has come from the past couple weeks, but they've been playing okay lately. They've been playing okay. The big ones, though, the big ones, though, you know, come later in the day. You know, there's not a lot of drama. You know, there, there's certainly some drama there, but it's unlikely, you know, that this drama is going to happen. I mean, we all expect Colts to beat the Jags, so the Colts should lock up a playoff spot. The drama comes in, you know, when we get to the late window. Saints, Falcons, Saints need a playoff spot. They need to beat the Falcons on the road with Taysom Hill and company. And you all know the Falcons aren't going to make this look easy. I mean, the Falcons have been diddling and dawdling, you know, throughout the season. You know, they, they find their, 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 their playing crash. Well, I wouldn't say they're playing because, I mean, the Falcons crashed and burned. Yeah, the Falcons crashed and burned in week 17, and their playoff hopes died. So, Saints, you know, their playoff hopes could be spoiled if the Falcons beat them. Of course, they need something else to happen, too, for them to make the playoffs, but we'll get to that in a minute. Seahawks, Cardinals, on the other hand, the Seahawks, you know, they, they finally look like the Seahawks team that they were supposed to look like last week. 
So can they beat the Cardinals, you know, who just got a big victory against Dallas? They just got a big victory. The Cardinals need to win this game. They need the Rams to lose. Um, and so there, there's also the fact that J.J. Watt could be coming right back in the wild card. He could be coming back in the wild card. Now, that was just a report that just came out today. He could be coming back. So Cardinals and company need the, you know, Cliff Kingsbury and, and the Cardinals need to win this game. They need the Rams to lose to get to, you know, get the division title in the NFC West. And if they don't win this game, they lose this, if they lose this game, you know, it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for them to, you know, to do anything. I mean, they, they, they would be the three. They'd be the five seeds. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Bills, Jets, and Patriots, Dolphins, both these games are kind of linked together, so, you know, Jets are not going to be easy for the Bills. Again, you know, the Jets are not a team to take lightly. And the Dolphins, you know, with two and company, they are not a team to take lightly either. The Patriots need the Bills to lose. And, the, you know, the, to lock up the AFC East, the Patriots need the Bills to lose. And, you know, the Patriots could still get the number one seed as well, but they need a lot of things to go their way, and I just don't think it's going to happen. Same thing with the Bills. I don't think a lot of things are going to go their way, you know, in regards to getting the number one seed, but I do think if they just beat the Jets, they win the AFC East. That's plain and simple. So Josh Allen and company got to win this game. They don't win this game, and the Patriots beat the Dolphins. And, they, again, you know, both the Dolphins and the Jets are not easy games this year. They're not, they're not easy games. So... You know, pay attention, Dolphins and Bills fans. Pay attention, Patriots and Bills fans. Pay attention. Pay attention. Okay. The Buccaneers and Panthers are kind of just stuck here at this time slot. I mean, the Bucks they can get the number two seed, but, you know, there there's, a, you know, I'm not sure what, what it looks like right now as far as the playoff picture goes. You know, we, again, we know that Green Bay is the number one seed. It's a log jam at two through five trying to fight for the number two seed, you know, at least. You know, so the Buccaneers, they just beat the Panthers. You know, they already have the NFC South. There's really, you know, nothing really to say here, you know, because, I mean, again, Bucks have the biggest rap. They're, go they're going to host the playoff game at home. It's just a matter of will they host more than one. We'll see. Um, the 49ers and Rams has a lot hinging on it, a lot hinging on it. What is Jimmy G and company going to do? What are they going to do? Is it going to be Trey Lance? Is it going to be Jimmy Garoppolo? Even starting, we don't know. You know, you know the Rams, you know, could Cooper Cup get over 2,000 yards this year? You know, because the Rams, Rams need to win this game to lock up the NFC West. The 49ers need to win this game to lock themselves up a playoff berth. If they lose this game and the Saints beat the Falcons, 49ers aren't going to the playoffs. They're not. The Rams, all they need, all they need to do is just win this game. If they don't win this game and the Cardinals beat the Seahawks, well then, Cardinals win the NFC West and the Rams would go on the road. So, it's going to be real, real intriguing to see, you know, what, you know, what this game entails. Definitely one of the better games today, you know. So, that that's going to be a real, real good way to cap off, you know, the early games and stuff like that, the later games. But the final game, game 272, Justin Herbert versus Derek Carr for a playoff spot. The Chargers and the Raiders. My goodness. I don't think we got some type of hype fest game in quite some time on Sunday Night Football. Like There's been a couple of stinkers the last couple weeks on Sunday Night Football. But this week, oh boy. This, one, this one's going to be good. This one's going to be real good. You know, cooking with grease. Scrub all's recipe because that's what this game is. Chargers need this victory. They got... They they they've had some they've had some games this year where they you know you know where they look like the Chargers that you know could be contended for playoff spots and then they look like you know a team that can't at times. Same thing with the Raiders. I, I bashed the Raiders and the Chargers all year long, but this game right here, you know, this is this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I I expect so, somebody somebody's clutching a playoff spot. I don't know who somebody's clutching a playoff spot. Can the Raiders you know? Can they clinch a playoff spot? We'll see. Can the Chargers clinch a playoff spot? We'll see. I, I honestly don't know who's going to win this game. I, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but there is a weird scenario in which, you know, the Chargers and the Raiders could tie 
if the Colts lose to the Jags. And I, again, that's just not going to happen. You know, like the Chargers, the Raiders would get would both get a playoff spot if the Colts lose to the Jags. And then, you know, I believe something else has to happen as well. But I mean, that, again, that's doubtful. So win and you're in. That is the simplest goal. Game 272 is going to be lit. Game 272 going to be real lit. So with that being said, we await the times for the wild card round. We await the times for the divisional round or rather what networks because we know the times. But, you know, we await, you know, what the schedule is going to look like for the super wild card round. We await what the playoffs are going to look like because, again, there's really only one spot that's secured. You know, again, everything else is either seeding or fighting for, you know, two or three playoff spots. Again, there's just two or three playoff spots left. And it doesn't look like this year we're going to have a Chicago Bears situation, you know, with the 17th game. You know, it looks like, you know, there's going to be some damn good teams in this playoffs this year. So, you know, for, for the games that do matter for playoff, per, for rather wild card purposes, let's hope we get some good ones for the games that matter due to seeding, you know. Let's hope those are good games as well. And for the games that matter due to get that number one overall pick in the NFL draft, Let's hope they're good games. Let's hope Week 18 is a good one. And with that being said, I will see you at the end of Game 272, the Chargers and the Raiders, on Sunday night to recap Week 18 and to get a little bit of a teaser for Super Wild Card Weekend. With that, and I'll, say, I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow for the... I, 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 don't, know why, I don't know why I'm messing things up here. But I'll see you tomorrow... You know, at about 2, 3 o'clock, FCS Championship Recap. That, that's what I wanted to say to get this out of the way. See you tomorrow, everybody. And see you Sunday.